Hey, how's it going? In today's episode, I'll be talking about the science behind lawn fertilizer and how to spread it. Welcome back. I'm Chris Kuzak, and on this channel, I cover DIY projects and homeowner solutions to everyday problems. So if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing. It's spring and time to start considering lawn maintenance. If you want to avoid having a dull lawn full of weeds, you need to fertilize it. Sounds basic, right? But there's actually some literal science behind it. But before we get into that, let me just say, I'll have a bonus tip for you at the end of the video, so stick around. When you go to the store to purchase your fertilizer, you'll notice there are quite a few options in terms of types of fertilizer. First of all, you'll see bags of granular fertilizer and you'll also see jugs of liquid fertilizer. Generally, liquid fertilizers act faster, but granular fertilizers last longer and don't need to be spread as often. In terms of ease of use and even spreading, granular fertilizer is the way to go and is the type I go with. When looking at the packaging, you'll notice there are three numbers on the front separated by hyphens. These numbers represent the percentage of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium contained respectively. This is often referred to as the NPK ratio. Each of these nutrients do different things for your lawn. Nitrogen, the first number, promotes healthy leaf growth. Phosphorus, the second number, promotes healthy roots. Potassium, the third number, helps your lawn resist drought and disease. By knowing what these numbers stand for, you can read past all the fancy marketing and actually make an informed decision. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that it isn't my goal to persuade you to, to go with a particular brand or type of product, but rather to help you make an informed decision. So depending on what you want to accomplish with your lawn, you'll need to look at the numbers on the packaging rather than just drinking the marketing Kool-Aid. So for example, if you're starting a lawn from bare soil, you want to get something that has a good amount of phosphorus in it to promote healthy roots and a strong foundation. Or if you're looking to simply feed your already existing lawn, you'll want to look for something with a high percentage of nitrogen. If you live in a part of the world that has a fall and winter season like I do, you'll want to look for something that has a higher percentage of potassium to get your lawn through the frozen winter. Potassium would also be good for very hot and dry climates. Today, I'll be feeding my lawn some Scott's Turf Builder, which consists of 30% nitrogen, no phosphorus, and 3% potassium. In general, this is a general maintenance fertilizing to promote healthy leaves, to crowd out weeds, and to help it through the dry parts of the summer. To spread granular fertilizer, you'll want to get a rotary spreader with a speed selector so you can get a nice even spread. Simply pour as much fertilizer as you think you'll need into the hopper on the top of the spreader, and if you put too much in the top, you can just pour the leftovers back into the bag when you're done. This particular fertilizer calls for the speed selector to be set to three and a half. Basically, the higher, higher the number, the faster the flow of fertilizer. There is also a guard that you can deploy on the right side of the spreader to block the fertilizer from bring, being spread into garden beds or onto sidewalks, which would essentially waste it. Once the spreader is all set up, just start walking and then pull the trigger on the handle to release the fertilizer down to the rotor. Do your best to do a single pass over the entire lawn to prevent patchy growth. And I figure a pass is about three to four feet wide, but a little overlap won't hurt. The granular fertilizers last about two months, so to keep your lawn looking great, it's best to repeat this every other month. Again, if you live in a climate with winter, it's best to do your last fertilizing of the year with a fall fertilizer consisting of a higher percentage of potassium. And now for that bonus tip I promised you. A great way to feed your grass is to leave the clippings after you cut it. The clippings are actually quite rich in nitrogen. The best way to do this is to have your mower set to mulch the grass by not having the bag or the side discharge on it. You might be able to reduce the frequency of fertilizing and save a few bucks in the process. Who else likes saving money and time? I think that'll be all for this video. Drop your questions down in the comments and I'll make sure I respond to the best of my knowledge. If you found this video helpful, click the like button, which helps others find this video too. Thanks for watching and remember, dream it, fix it, build it. Later.